Righto, we have another contestant. We just had an amazing contestant before. Let's take a look. This contestant is called Bethany Ang. Um, let's start. Hi, my name is Bethany Ang, and I'm a digital content creator. From a young age, I've been interested in media like movies and television. But there wasn't a lot of Asian representation at the time. So I turned to YouTube where I found creators like Michelle Fan, Ryan Higa, and Long Key Productions. Oh my god, wow. these are literally the YouTube like OGs I used to follow. Really? I love their content, they're so creative and especially back in the days, not giving anything away, um, they were like huge stars. My content, you can see bits and pieces of inspiration from those I look up to. The beauty industry has always had a certain glamour and allure to it, so I enjoy making makeup tutorials and fashion videos. I'm able to unleash my creativity by playing with different themes and styles. My goal is to create content that will challenge stereotypes, increase Asian representation, and allow people to love themselves for who they are. You are doing I'm that. I'm Bethany Arms from the United had, like, States, a and I'm ready to be a CGCN <laughs> Media Challenger. Awesome. So, great work, Bethany. And yeah, looking well done. forward to seeing more of your work. Let's... Alrighty, who do we have next? We have... Let's have a look. Declan. 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 Hi there. I want to say thank you for CGTN for uh, giving me this opportunity right now to share with you some of my experiences. So, um, I used to be a lyricist and um, I am here living in China now for approximately four years. Um, it, it's wow. an amazing place. Oh, so he, he currently lives in China? He's lived here for 24 years, he said. Wait, I need to I need to replay. I need to hear what he just said. Um, I am here living in China now for approximately four years. Oh, four um, years. It, it's okay, an amazing the subtitles place. one. Um, oh. The food is uh, is great. Um, so when it comes to the food is great, and you got something to say about that, right? Have I? <laughs> <laughs> Are you calling me fat? Because <laughs> <laughs> you had a T-shirt with like hot pots on it. Oh <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. But the food in China. I is, love the food in great. China. If you haven't been to China, seriously, just for the food. Mm. <laughs> uh, being a lyricist, there is a lot of things that you need to so he's a lyricist. To know. First of all, you need to read a lot of books. Uh, especially when it comes to Oops. the language that you want to... Do you not read uh, a lot of books? <laughs> I would say, just get involved into writing lyrics about. And uh, there is also the part where there is feelings inside. And uh, besides that, um, there are also the vocabulary part. So when it comes to the vocabulary part, you need to assemble a lot of words that have the same meaning and to classify them one by one to see which one has the most intensity in the words. I mean, you write your own lyrics as well. Yeah. I like the way that he's, even though he's just doing kind of a walking, talking mm. thing without any edits, but I'm just really kind of into the content that he's talking about because it's really from kind of within. Yeah. So you need to feel what you write because if you don't feel it, you cannot write it. And I want to say thank you again to see you. No, share. don't go, Declan. Uh, don't go. I can hear he's going to go. Yes, don't go. Come on, send us your work. I want to hear your work. 